When AI analyzed over 2 million workout programs and was asked, what's the fastest way to build muscle? It didn't say, eat more protein, lift heavier, or sleep more. It said one thing, delete everything that doesn't build muscle. Here's how it works. AI asked three simple questions. Does this exercise hit the right muscles? Does it push them hard enough to grow? And can you recover fast enough to do it again? Then it asked one more. How many exercises do I need to hit all three at once? Turns out you just need five exercises. Now that AI had the perfect perfect exercises, it asked a deeper question. How often should you train, and how much is too much? So AI did again what humans couldn't. It studied thousands of training logs, progress reports, and recovery stats. And the answer? Muscles need about 48 hours to recover before they're hit again. So the fastest muscle growth happened when people trained each muscle two to three times per week, aiming at 10 to 20 hard sets per muscle group per week. And keep watching, because none of this matters if you don't know how hard should you actually train. This is where 99% of people fail. Here's what AI found. The fastest gains came when people trained close to failure, just one to two reps before their muscles gave out. Do the opposite and stop too early, and you'll never make any significant gains. Now what's insane? In one study, trained individuals were asked to stop a set when they thought they were one rep from failure. You know what happened? Most still had three to five reps left in the tank. So, remember, your brain will quit long before your muscles do. So when it starts to burn, don't stop. Then AI I saw something amazing. Two people could do the exact same workout, same weight, reps, and sets, but one would grow and the other wouldn't. Because it came down to one thing, rest timing. How long you rest controls how strong you are for the next set, and that strength is what tells your muscles, grow. Data showed the best rest time was 60 to 120 seconds between sets. If you rest less than that, you don't fully recover. You'll lift less and do fewer reps. But if you rest too long, your muscles cool down, and they stop feeling under attack. In both cases, this means you'll build muscles significantly slower. Now, if you do it correctly and focus on your rest time, you will have much faster muscle growth without wasting a single rep or set. But what about rest between exercises? Here's the simple rule. If the next exercise is big and heavy, like deadlifts after squats, rest two to three minutes. If it's a smaller isolation move, like curls or lateral raises, rest one to two minutes. This gives your body enough time to recover without losing momentum. Now, here comes the question, how heavy should you lift to build muscle? AI finally busted one of the biggest myths in fitness industry, that you need to lift super heavy to get results. What actually matters more is how you control the weight. Let me explain. When you lift weights, every rep you do has two parts, the concentric phase when you lift the weight up, and the eccentric phase when you lower it back down. AI found that the eccentric phase is where most muscle growth happens, but only if you slow it down. When you take about two to three seconds to lower the weight, your muscles stay under tension longer, and that tension is what tells your body, build more muscle here. Then, when you lift the weight up again, be explosive, but still in control. Your mission is to have a perfect form every rep, because even slight breaks in form, like rushing the rep, shortening the range of motion, or twisting your body, reduce muscle growth by over 20%. The truth is, muscles simply don't care how much you lift, they care how much tension you put them under, and how precise you are. Get this right, and you'll build more muscle with less weight, while avoiding the injuries that stop 99% of lifters. Now, are you ready for the biggest mistake you can possibly make when building muscle? That is, doing the same workout over and over again. This is where AI saw muscle growth stop completely. So the only way to fix it, your workout must get harder every week. This is called progressive overload. Think of it like leveling up in a video game. If the enemy stays the same, you don't need better skills. But if the enemy gets stronger, you have to grow too, or you lose. This is how it works. Step one, add reps. If you did 50 kilograms for eight reps last week, try for nine this week, then 10. Once you can do 10 clean reps, then comes step two, add weight. Go from 50 kilograms to 52.5 kilograms and drop back to eight reps, then build your reps back up again. This simple loop, add reps, then add weight, is how real progress is made. Step three, add sets when needed. You can also increase your total weekly volume. If you're doing 12 sets per week for the chest, move to 14, but don't go beyond 20 hard sets per muscle per week. More than that can slow recovery and reduce growth. That's all it takes. If you're not pushing past what you did last week, your muscles have no reason to grow. Now, let's go back to where it all started. What's the least number of exercises that check all three boxes? So, here are the only five exercises you need to build muscle. First, trap bar deadlift. No other exercise 
hits this many muscles at once without destroying your recovery. It trains the glutes, hamstrings, quads, traps, and grip. But here's what makes it better than a regular deadlift. The trap bar keeps the weight centered, so any risk of injury is significantly lower. That means you can lift heavy, often, and still recover fast. Second, incline dumbbell press. 99% of people never fully develop their chest, especially the upper part. This exercise fixes that. It targets the upper chest directly, and dumbbells give you better control, a deeper stretch, and less risk of shoulder pain than a barbell. Third, Bulgarian split squat. If squats are king, this is the assassin. Why? Because it trains each leg individually, which means no cheating and no imbalances. It targets your quads, glutes, hamstrings, and even your core. And because it's so demanding, you can build serious muscle with just the dumbbells. Fourth, weighted chin-up. This is the best exercise for your upper body, no question. It builds your lats, biceps, rear delts, forearms, and grip all at once. The muscle activation is on another level. It easily beats any machine or rows, and when the weight gets easy, you don't change the exercise, you just add more. And the fifth exercise is standing dumbbell overhead press. This is how you build strong, wide shoulders. It hits your front delts, side delts, triceps, and traps really hard. Also, the dumbbells move naturally with your shoulder, so there's almost zero risk of injury. Unlike machines or seated presses, this variation forces your shoulders to do all the work, no support and no shortcuts. That's why it builds size fast. Now that you have everything, let me actually show you what AI said is the best workout program you can follow. As you can see on the screen, we have three different types of workouts for each day of the week, with planned rest days. If you want, take a quick pause and screenshot it to have it later. Then what is also important to remember is these five rules, because without them, everything else is useless. Did you know that every time you go into the gym, you risk losing $70,000? Click on the video to see how.